okay, I'm going to take off my coat, roll up my sleeves, and start to explore a little bit of what's going on here or what's possible with some of the Eurorack modules I have in the bottom row and trying to get those to work with the super module that's here in the top row. Let's keep using the uh, System 1 arpeggiator to keep the ball rolling. Okay, and so this is the sort of envelopes that are being triggered and gated from the System 1. But maybe what we'd like to do is take the output of the System 1's oscillators into uh, Dopefer, um, sort of Oberheim expander emulating filter. And so I'm going to take the output of the oscillator into a bandpass filter. Now, there's no bandpass filter on the um, System 1, so maybe this will give me a different world of sound. So we'll do that. Let's grab this and pop it into the left side. Let's mix it with the System 1 sound. Right? Kind of nice. Okay, now. Let's just use a, an LFO on that. Let's go into CV2. A little bit tasteful. Okay. So we're now opening and closing the bandpass filter a little bit. And that bandpass filter is processing the System 1's really beautiful and rich oscillator 1. So oscillator 1 is now coming into, from out of the System 1, into my Eurorack suite of modules that I have here. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to trigger maybe this envelope generator from the arpeggiator. So I'll just take a gate out of the uh, SPX1 and I'll gate this envelope. You see the LED blinking. I'm firing the envelope now. Now let's take the output of this envelope generator and just listen for a second. Okay, now, what we're hearing is the System 1's oscillator being processed now by some Eurorack modules. But what might be nice is to take that same envelope and maybe use it to replace the envelope on the System 1. Let's mix these guys again. Now, what's important about what you're hearing now is we're not using the System 1's envelope anymore. We're using this tip-top voltage-controlled envelope generator. So, the attack, decay, sustain, and release are now voltage-controllable. So, I could really play around with the, let's say, sustain level or release level. Hear this little skipping sound? That's not possible with the System 1M. But wait, it is System 1M. It's the System 1 as my source. I'm playing with envelopes. I've now using this envelope generator whose release time is being voltage controlled by this oscillator two times a second. It's changing the release, opening it, closing it, sort of making a stutter effect. And that has now replaced the System 1's envelope. I'll layer back some of the bandpass filter. We'll add a 
little more reverb. Right? Pretty great. So, what I've tried to show here, just as a first attempt, a first stab at things, is, hmm, let's use System 1's beautifully rich oscillator, play with its wave shapes. Let's filter the System 1 with a very different kind of filter that the System 1 doesn't have. Let's use different oscillators to control filters, this filter, which we're doing here. But, and we're using an envelope generator to also control the filter, but wait, it's a voltage controlled envelope generator. So wouldn't it be cool to also have that gate, the mix of the original system one sound, which we've done. And that's what we're hearing here. So what we've done now is combine these two worlds Pretty fun. We're using, what, two modules here and the sort of Super System 1 module in the simplest of ways.